Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about seven ways to increase Facebook likes without spending a dollar. So way number one, super easy, add the Facebook widget to your website. That's where people, you know, if people are visiting, you can add it to your sidebar, you can add it to the bottom, whatever it is exactly, you can actually get likes there, assuming that you have traffic, easy way to do it, not going to cost you anything. Yeah, the other thing that you can end up doing is building up your fan page. So it's not just about getting likes on your page. It's also about getting your fan page, your profile page more popular. So that way, when you share a post, you're going to get more likes. So if you have a personal profile, uh, connect with other individuals and add them as friends for people who are in your space. If you have a fan page, do shout out for shout outs or like, uh, or share other people's posts from their pages and then ask them to reciprocate and share content from your page. That'll help boost your numbers for your page and make it more popular. It'll also help their page become more popular as well. And this way, when you share future content from your page or your profile, you will get more likes. All right. The other way is you can also just simply ask, right? So, you know, Neil has a big email list. Um, You know, assuming you have an email list at all, let's say even a couple, you know, a thousand people or a couple hundred people, you can just ask them to come over and like the page or, you know, send it through an intro email as well. And it's not going to cost you any money to continue to boost your number of likes. You can do the same thing by looking at your competitors' posts. So I will go and I'll plug it into BuzzSumo um, or my post in BuzzSumo. It'll show me all the relevant posts. So like let's say I wrote on something on SEO. I would type in SEO keywords. It'll show me all the other posts that did well on the social web and show me their likes and stuff. And then I dig around and see who shared their content. And I just email them asking them to like my stuff. You can do the same thing with your friends. It doesn't just have to be an email list. Like you can just ask people like, hey, I noticed you're in the industry and you share marketing content. Uh, Feel free to like this post if you like my post as well. And the other thing is, it seems like a duh statement, but just creating great content in general. When you create great content, you're pushing it out there, you're promoting it to other people. Let's say, you know, uh, let's say, you know, somebody wrote a epic 20,000 word article and they shared it with Neil, they shared it with, uh, you know, myself, and it's really well done, right? It's something that actually makes us look smarter if we share it. We're going to go out there, we're going to share this content. As a matter of fact, in the early days, I used to, when I used to write blog posts, I used to be like, hey, Neil, can you help tweet this? And if it was good, he'd do it. If it sucked, he would not tweet it at all. Um, so if you actually have something that's good, get out there. You know, people will go out there and they'll share it. And then, it, you know, their audience will start to, if they actually like the content, they're going to start to like your stuff. Um, and that works out well. Number six, focus on timing. A lot of people like publishing content on weekdays because they're like, oh, that's when everyone's online. If you notice on neilpatel.com, I love publishing content on Saturdays and Sundays. Sure, not as many people are online. I have very little competition when it comes to other marketing blogs uh, creating content. And I find that my weekend posts tend to get the most amount of shares. Number seven, this is kind of building on the last one that I gave, but you know, promoting your content out there, using a tool like BuzzSumo to find people that have shared uh, similar content helps a lot. Um, also building on you know, skyscraping content out there and promoting it, this kind of goes into creating great content. So that's backing up a second. But moving forward, I mean, you know, reaching out to people, you can do direct outreach. You can use a tool like Pitchbox, for example, helps you, you know, um, kind of organize your, your outreach. And then also, you know, what I found was even though I'm not paying directly for likes, let's say I'm boosting posts, for example, I find that I actually do get more likes from it. Doing that, you're going to get the secondary benefit of get, getting more page likes uh, in that respect, even though that's not your goal. All right, that's it for today's episode. We will see you all tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.